The American ambassador to Sierra Leone, David Renner, on Tuesday, 8 February 2022, at the Great Hall of the Mills Magai Technical University, witnessed the first ever scientific postal presentations of diverse topics bordering the society that will be developed into scientific research publications. David Renner used the opportunity to see the impact of his government sponsored educational exchange work. Lecturers made different research on different topics. Alima Jumu, in her presentation, said her research was based on motorbike riding for livelihood, a study that she did at the Godrich community. Hawa Saidu also did an investigation of the strategic human resource management system of the hospitality industry in Sierra Leone. Dr. Sylvia Juta did her own research on livelihoods and women's economic empowerment a case study of stone brokers in post-war Sierra Leone. The impact of customer service on guest satisfaction in selected hotels in the western area district of Sierra Leone. Amnata Bangura, Amnata Bangura carried out her research on the topic. Food safety and hygiene practice among street food cookery sellers in Freetown was done by a lecturer, Mayama Kambai. The use of aphrodistic and, and it held effect from the perspective of tourists and locals in Freetown was also carried out by Dockers Labija. And the impact of microcredit on women operate small and medium enterprise in Sierra Leone was also carried out by Amadou Samai. And a statement, Professor Desmond Brown affirmed that he is very proud of the quality leadership at the MMTU and that the institution will create impact to solve community as well as societal problems. Well, I mean, a recognition of the status as a, as a university and not a college anymore, and if they continue to do so, that will expand the uh, consultancy base for the university, attract more students that will come and can learn from the people who are doing research, we will actually for, for, for give them new ideas and for train them. The whole thing is for personal knowledge to other people that we get from after. The Vice Chancellor and Principal, Professor Dr. Philip John Kanu, applaud Professor Desmond Brown for job well done that the institution is receiving the highest support from government that the tourism sector can turn the Sierra Leone economy around. Well, the essence is to showcase uh, research topics that uh, borders around tourism sector. You know, they've approved this institution to be a technical university and one of the faculties that TNC uh, uh, approved is the tourism faculty. So the topics are really around boosting the tourism sector. It is the American government funding the Fulbright professor that is mentoring these lecturers for them to know how to conduct research, how to conduct research and also develop academic articles. So that is why the American ambassador came this morning to see that uh, what they are funding is yielding the result that they expected. And they are really appreciative of the fact that uh, within a few months, from November to now, this man has turned around. Uh, we are, nobody has ever thought of talking about publication in this institution. The Chancellor of the Miltimaga Technical University, Dr. Victor Kabia, acclaimed Professor Brown for supporting the MMTU staff to benefit from the continued professional development programs. You know we have now transformed into a university. I mean, the university we promote people by performance. And one area we are interested or concentrate on is on research. Because the university is supposed to do research for the improvement and development of the country. So we organized a kind of research seminar and we came to it to make a kind of showcase on the research topics and what they have done so far. The people, the main players are lecturers. The event was organized by the Faculty of Hotel, Tourism and Nutritional Science of the Milt Magai Technical University, Brookfield Campus, as part of the first research in progress academic showcase since attaining the Technical University status and the American Fulbright Scholar Professor Desmond Brown 
through a U.S.-sponsored Fulbright grant working with the faculty in order to expand their capacity research to be published in academic journals. For Star News in Freetown, George Elliott Sam reported.